Hey, this is Chris, and I want to share with you our brand new Zapier integration, which allows you to connect over 270 apps to Call Loop. This is huge. So, any integration or any app that Zapier connects with, you can connect it to Call Loop. So, for example, we have all of these. So, if a person fills out something on 123 contact form, you can add them to Call Loop. They integrate with AWeber, they integrate with Active Campaign. They integrate with Basecamp and Base CRM and all of these different systems you can connect Call Loop to. So in this example, I want to show you how you can connect GoToWebinar with Call Loop. So let's say that somebody registers for your webinar and you want to add them to a Call Loop group to send them a text message or a voice message reminder before the webinar starts. So You'll uh, uh, select go to webinar here, new registrant, and you'll simply just search for call loop. And here's call loop. And when somebody registers, let's go ahead and add contact to a group. So you'll click continue and you'll connect whichever app you have connected here. So it's going to ask us to, uh, if we wanted to, we could connect a different go to webinar account. I already have one here. So I'm just going to test this connection and it looks like it works. So the second step here, we'll click continue. Third step is to select a call loop account. So if you select in the dropdown, you'll see some accounts we've already hooked up. And if you select connect a different call loop account, this will pop up and you can simply name this. So I'll call this one demo Zapier. And right below here, you'll see API key. So if I just right click and open a new tab, it's gonna take us to the API page where I can capture and grab the API key. So here it is, uh, if it's a brand new account, you'll select generate API key and you'll simply copy this, go back to Zapier and put in this API key. Now you'll want to put in the email address of the account that this is associated with, click continue, Zapier is gonna make that connection and if it's working, you'll see that the account is working. We'll click continue and now, uh, for this example with GoToWebinar, we can select the webinar that we've created. And I'll select that one and click Continue. I'll go over here to Group, and I've got a list called Text to Convert. And I'll simply select that, and it's going to ask me for the phone number. It's going to look up in GoToWebinar which field. So in this example, we'll select Extended Phone. If we want to merge over the first name, we would select first name. The last name, we'll do that. And we will find the email address. And we'll simply click continue. And now we can test this integration and see exactly what happens. So if I click see example, it's going to pass this, email, this phone number, this first name, this email address, this last name. And that's all. So I'll click test zap with the sample. It should send. And now we'll go check call loop to see if that contact was added. So I'm here in call loop. I'll click refresh. And I should see this turns to number two. And there it is. So we've got one contact. And there it is. There's our name. There's our email. And there's our phone number. So now if we go back to Zapier, we click continue. And we can simply give this one a name. So I'll call it GoToWebinar plus call loop. And we can turn that zap on. And that's pretty much it. To see a bunch of zaps that we've already created, just go to our home site, click on the integrations, pull up Zapier, and you'll be able to see all of these new integrations from e commerce with Big Commerce, Shopify, AWeber, Campaign Monitor, and these ones. In fact, Here's the one that you can select for GoToWebinar. GoToWebinar, new registrants to call loop and add contact to the group. You can simply click start using this and have that zap right in your account in one click.